Hey guys, I'm Will and this is your Shield Setup video. This is actually the first of four videos where we're gonna show you how to set up and use your shield. All right, so I got my shield here and it's official shield carrying case. It's actually a rugged reinforced nylon case that comes with a wrist strap, an integrated charging access port on the back, and of course the zipper that goes all the way around, like so. Open it up, boom, we have our shield. So let's take a look at the hardware. Here we have our five inch HD touchscreen of course, all the shield controls, that includes a D-pad, two joysticks, which actually have buttons under them, so they're clickable, the navigation buttons with the center-mounted shield multifunction button, the ABXY buttons here, the bass reflex stereo speakers right here, and on the back, we have our bumpers, our triggers, and ports. So, you can actually swap out your tags, like so. I happen to have a custom tag here. It's the carbon fiber version. I'm gonna swap them on, they're magnetized, so they swap on real easy, like so. So, let's take a look at how to set up your shield. I mentioned before, you have your micro USB port back here, that's your charging port, so you're gonna wanna press this shield multifunction button. It's gonna light up to let you know it's powered on, and let's wait for it to boot up. Here we go, now you're at your shield startup screen. You're just gonna wanna flick through that, or you can press A to continue through the setup screen. When you're at the end, you're gonna to wanna to press Y to let us know that you agree. And when you do that, you're gonna get on the Android startup screen. This is where we add our Google account information. That's the same login information that you use for Gmail. So let's get started. All right, so we're on the setup screen here. We're just gonna hit the start button and we're gonna find an internet connection, also known as your Wi-Fi network. We're just gonna enter the password here, like so. I'm gonna click connect and wait for it to connect to your Wi-Fi network. All right, so now that we're connected, we're gonna enter our Google account information. Again, this is the same information that you would use to log into Gmail. So, let's enter that now. I'm gonna add my username. Then I'm gonna enter my password. We're gonna click done. All right, now take a look at the checkboxes. Make sure you got what you need. Click next again. Make sure you have your location settings the way you want them and hit the arrow. And in just a second, we'll be done and finished. Now you're at your home screen. Just click OK, and you're ready to go. This is how you access your apps. You can long press them to put them on the home screen, and when you wanna go back home, you press the home button like so. So that's pretty much all you need to know to get up and running with Shield. If you wanna revisit the setup process, you can restart this video, or find the Shield Help app on your device, give it a click, and you're gonna to wanna to hit the Y button for the user's guide. That does it for this tutorial video. In the next video, we're gonna talk about how to navigate the Android user interface and the TeggerZone app using Shield controls. You can find that video by clicking right here.